Kettle Hills hosting Coronado in some matinee football over at the Sack Andy. Yeah, a lot at stake for both of these teams. They have had good seasons up until this point, a couple stumbles in district play, and that's uh, where you end up in this one. Uh, that's just the name of the game. We open in the first quarter. That's Dominique Varela with a one-yard touchdown run, and then a sum is good. More is always better. Varela, this time a 46-yard touchdown run to put the T-Birds up 14-0 early. Ed, you're a fan of this Varela kid. Let me give him my Stansberry stamp of approval right now. Three touchdowns, had a sack, playing both ways. A lot of guys on Coronado play both ways. They did a tremendous job. Couldn't ask for anything more from them. That put uh, the T-Birds up 14 to nothing early, but Pebble Hills had an answer. Sebastian Ochoa looking long. He finds Caleb Gerber for the touchdown. Coach, that's exactly what you need when you fall behind. You need an answer. You've got to have your playmakers come through in the big games like this. And both the, uh, Ochoa uh, came through with his receiver. Great job. How about uh, some more Varela? Ed set three touchdowns on the night. Here is a uh, another one. Oh. Coronado really me. running the wow. uh, football well late in this game. You're going to have Garrett Slaughter. Slaughter is also going to score a touchdown for Coronado. And this was a little bit of a, a little bit of a shocker in our sense. Coronado. Not only with the win, that wasn't necessarily the surprising part, but the way they won, 42 to 25, was the final. Let's head back out to the sack. Uh, Stephanie Shields, she caught up with the winning head coach. I'm here at Coronado at versus Pebble Hills for our nine overtime game of the week for an exciting night for Coronado where they just clinched a playoff berth. Here with me I have head coach Bob Anderson to talk about the big win. All right, coach, so tell me, you clinched a playoff berth, so what in the last game of the season, what does this mean for your team? Oh, they stepped up big time. I'm so proud of them. I mean, it was it wasn't just one guy in this on this team. They all did their part. I'm just real happy with them. They it was they grinded it out. We did what we needed to do to get in the playoffs for sure. Great, great. And Dominique Varela specifically, he plays offense, defense, three touchdowns tonight. How did you know his playing tonight make a difference for you guys? Oh, he's a big difference, but we have a bunch of people going both ways. Uh, we just don't have the numbers, so we have guys that have to step up, and and they they're playing both, and uh, they don't feel sorry for themselves. Great, and your defense held Pebble Hills to 25 points tonight. How did you guys do that? Well, we we just we were disciplined and and well for the most part we made some mistakes. They, I, I I feel like we shouldn't have given up that. They're a great team and a lot of speed and we got to keep them in front of us. Um, they they did a good job. I'm happy we battled. We made them earn everything they get. Every guy. Uh, so I'm I'm real happy with the defense as well. They've been good all year. They've been solid all year. Great. Now tell me. Run in the playoffs. Pardon? So tell me, do you think this team has what it takes to make a run in the playoffs? Well, we're going to take it one game at a time. Uh, you know, we're going to go after we're, we're we're a good team, and we're we're going to go get after them and see what happens. Yeah! Right? All right. Yeah! Thank you. Congrats, coach. Congrats on the win. Thank you. All right. There you have it, guys. That's our game of the week. Nine overtime. I'm Stephanie Shields, KTSM nine over. Yeah!